Right now, Sky 2 video showing what's left after a helicopter crash in Brazoria County. There were two people inside. One was rushed to a hospital. Investigators are now trying to figure out what brought it down. That chopper crashed in a remote area of Brazoria County. Specifically off County Roads 223 in 2004. Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez arrived there shortly after the crash. And Jonathan, what have investigators told you so far? Right now, they are saying it appears to be that weather caused this chopper to go down. In fact, we just learned the identity of the two people on board this chopper, which remains out in the field about a half a mile from where we are at right now. The pilot was 52 year old Ed Ferris, his passenger, 34 year old Terry Clausen, who suffered only minor injuries to his leg. Amazingly, they were both out and walking shortly after this crash. A chopper on its side and in the middle of a field after crashing. We were just coming down the road. Coming from somebody else, and we saw all this fire trucks and helicopters and everything. Investigators say the chopper was on a recreational flight coming from a Houston area plane museum and went down hard a little after noon near this museum where it was headed. The pilot himself stated that it was it was a weather that was a contributing factor, and not a mechanical failure. There were two people on board when it went down, including that pilot who only suffered minor injuries. We seen the the life flight helicopter still circling around. I was like, that's there's something in that field right there. And whenever we drove by, I was like, no, that's it's a helicopter. Authorities say the pilot and his passenger were able to pull themselves out of the chopper before seeing smoke on board. Despite the extensive damage to the aircraft, the pair was able to walk away relatively unharmed. We work hundreds of plane crashes a year. But this sends myself and our troopers that are working the scene a very heartwarming feeling because two personnel alive, they're here to enjoy their families for the holiday season. And authorities are still on the scene out here investigating. In fact, the NTSB showed up just a short time ago. They too remain out here on the scene. We are reporting live tonight from Missouri County. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC Channel 2 News.